Hey, my doki doki peeps. So, Japan day three, the last and final day. The goal was to check out the rest of Tokyo. I did my morning routine, got up, had some breakfast, and I needed to map out my journey so that I wouldn't be going back and forth within the same area. It was a good thing that they did have a Tokyo guide map, and I just went in a whole circle for the rest of the day. Was Tokyo Tower. It's not the sky tree, um, but Tokyo Tower. I actually don't know what the history of it was, but it looked amazing. After Tokyo Tower was Roppongi Hills, which I believe is their Beverly Hills. And I looked around, the shops were still closed. Or I thought they were closed, but there wasn't that many people until I found the lower part of the mall that had all these cute cartoon characters. So I just ended up taking pictures of those, spent some time looking around. It seemed like a cartoon museum. Right outside the Rupongi Hills Mall, um, there's this little pond area with a nice cute heart shape. So, spent some time walking there and embracing the nice weather. After Roppongi was Shibuya. I did not know that um, Hachiko, the statue, was there, so that was a plus. I was like, why are they taking a picture of a dog? Because I know who that dog is. And so I checked out the crossing, spent a moment watching everyone cross until it was my turn to do the crossing. As you can see, there was a lot of people around, but it was pretty exciting. Everyone with that one goal to just get a video or a photo crossing in Shibuya. I spent some time in Shibuya looking for the Anello bags, which I didn't find. I probably was just looking at the wrong places. And so I headed off to Harajuku, which is a cute little street filled with many, many, many shops. Um, and then there were also cafes there and toy stores, candy stores, everything was just there. It was really, really cute. Um, I didn't try much because you can't really eat and walk in Japan, it's frowned upon and I didn't have the stomach to try all the food. 
Um, but I will next time I visit. At Harajuku, there was the large rainbow cotton candy, crepe shops, many cafes with different themes. I don't know if it was the owl cafe that I saw here, the rabbit, or most of them are like animal themes. And I got hungry at this point, so I was looking out what I should be eating. It was between ramen or sushi. I ended up at my first ever authentic sushi spot. Um, it was a revolving bar. And I just ordered sushi like there was no tomorrow. Once you taste sushi from Japan, it will never be the same anywhere else. Next up, Ikebukuro, which is Game Central. Everywhere I look, it was games, games and games. But it was a must stop for me because this is where Sunshine City is. For those of you who aren't familiar, it's Pokemon. I went to go visit the Mega Center, spent some time there, a long while actually, looking around and shopping. And then... I lost my photo so I can't show it to you guys. Sorry. Adventure wouldn't be complete if I didn't visit a temple, so I went to go visit Sensoji Temple. When I got there, it was sunset, so there was this really awesome mystical kind of feel to it. And I actually forgot to do the whole washing before entering the temple, but I did it after I entered the temple. Besides buying souvenirs at the temple, I also got my omikuji, which is a Japanese paper fortune. You draw out your fortune and it can either be a great blessing or a great curse. If you receive a fortune that is cursed, you tie it to one of the strings at the temple and you leave it. And if you get a great blessing, you're able to take your paper fortune home. From the temple, it was dinner time, so I had my first ever fresh, amazing, delicious ramen. I actually tried the vending machines, so I picked one, paid, and then I gave the ticket to the lady. Mm, there you go, I got my ramen. Then I headed over to Akihabara and Ginza, where I did more shopping. Um, I bought all my anime stuff at Akihabara, found a lot of gutshop ones. Uh, which are toy capsules so I spent a lot of money on that even though I shouldn't have but they were super super cute and super easy to carry last stop before heading back to the hotel was Tokyo Station uh, they were closing up around that time so I didn't really shop around much but I did get to look around uh, bought a whole bunch of different flavored Kit Kats over there and then I was tired so it was just time to go back to the hotel alright you guys so uh, I spent I left the hotel about 9.30. I didn't come back until 9.30. So I spent 12 hours all over Tokyo. It was amazing. I should have split it into two days, but I was being lazy on one, so I did it all in one. Um, definitely had a lot of fun doing it, by the way. Um, 
So, just to show you in this video at least how crazy I went shopping. Alright, let's start with my backpack. Um, this actually I got from the shrine. So these are actually um, for my family. Um, they're little souvenirs. Um, good luck souvenirs. Uh, just to show you how one looks. Family and friends, actually. So that's one bag. Next bag. Um, ah, Pokemon! I was at the Mega Pokemon store. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff from there, too. We're gonna have to save the unraveling for another video, because it's not gonna work. Oh, I um, went to the Sailor Moon Cafe. So I actually bought, I don't know what these are to be honest, but I bought it because I wanted to buy something from Sailor Moon. I hope it's okay until I get back home. I think it will be. I'll put it in the fridge. It'll be fine. We have that. Um, this. What was this? Oh, um, also from the temple area um, that I visited. Lip balm. That. But, bag number one, um, goodies for everyone, uh, another bag, more goodies for everyone, and last but not least, the big bag, the big bag, of oh crap oh there's food in there um how many of these did i get i think about three but it looks like maybe it's two um gotchas i got some i had to um what's in it uh this one i believe is crap i forgot her name but it's from ReZero. Um, this one is Pokemon. It's a Pokeball. I don't, um, coin purse. I just don't know which kind I got. I think I got the original one. The red one. Oh, I'm telling you, unraveling next video. Hello Kitty Shop. By special request, someone wanted me to get them. Oh, sorry. Someone wanted me to get them a specific wallet and I actually found it, so hooray. For that and then I'm gonna show you mine because the other one is a surprise gift but they'll probably see it by the time they do it's an anime pack um anime souvenir bag and it's free zero I don't know what it's in, what's it, what is in, what's in it, um, but supposedly it came with um, one figure and a few goods inside together, so hopefully it's something good. Once again, I'm not going to open it yet, I'm going to open it when I get home, um, so it's nicely packed, so we'll have to wait for that. Anyways, besides that one, let's put it here. This one is actually, I bought this for, for a gift. Oh, that's free food that I got. Naruto! Yes. This is for some lucky person. Um, actually, she might share it with her husband. Um, because they both love Naruto, so if this one comes with it's just Naruto related items, so I don't even know what figure is in here if there is one. Well, there's a big box, so I don't know what's in it, but hopefully they like it. 
So that is how crazy I went. There's no more. Um, actually, maybe we can unravel in this video. Um, let's see. Dang, that's already been five minutes, six minutes actually. Let's see. This is the wallet. That's the gun shoe. Um, rose stuff. Oh, it's nicely pre-packed. These are just technically candy. Not candy. For a blue bowl. Um, I also got these because getting ready for the 2020 Olympics. carry all of this around which I just realized I could have put that in my back to help me but whatever I got my arm workout so now I have to pack but I'll leave tomorrow it's my last day my last night um so sad I don't want to go back home but I am kind of getting a little homesick because no one's here with me